So great to be joined by Bernard Lager and Stephen Sambu. First of all, Stephen, we'll start with you. Uh, fantastic to come there through at the end. Really strong finish in the great Manchester run. Yeah, it was really tough because everybody was there until, until mile, uh, mile five. And then I, I, I started moving hard, like pushing so hard. Towards the end, I was with this guy from South Africa. And then I pushed, I, I, I broke him in the, in the, for, the last, uh, for the last 800. And then I was happy because I was like, I'm going to win this today. You did really well to, to break Makoka there in the end. And you must be very pleased with the time, 27.30. Yeah, I'm so happy. You know, especially today it was not, it was windy. So I'm happy. If it was not windy, I would run like 27, 20 something. So 27, 30 with this condition, it's really good. I'm so happy. And Bernard, great to see you back in the UK to run here in Manchester. And uh, I'm sure you, you probably enjoyed having the, the crowd around you, pushing you on. And how, how do you feel in terms of your shape and, and fitness? You know, first of all, um, the fans over here of sports in Great Britain is amazing, man. In the UK here, I've raced so many times and everywhere I go and everybody says, go Bernard, go Bernard. And so the conditions today, like he was saying, was, uh, you know, it, it could have been ideal, but, you know, we, I was uh, pleased with the time. I've been training with uh, Steven in Flagstaff, Arizona. We have been doing hard tempo runs, knowing that we are going to do this race. And so coming over here and running 27.48 for me, that was uh, something that is awesome. And, you know, with the support of the fans, that was really nice to have them pushing us through. Yeah, it's very humble of you to say so, because I think you're, you're a big fan's favourite because uh, the sort of quality that you, you, you come up with uh, consistently. Give us a sense of what it's like for, for guys like yourselves who train very hard together, and then you come to race in, in, in Britain and places like this, and, and often we see a, a different race winner. It's so competitive. There are so many guys, we saw all four of you together for a long period in the race, who are in contention to, to come out, and, and that will be the same at World Championships and, and Major Championships. Yes, that, in fact, that is exactly what you know we could always expect at the World Championships you know, or, or Olympics or something like that, because everybody's training so hard, and they want one thing. They want to run. So when we were at that leading pack today, I was thinking to myself, okay, I have Steven unbeaten. He has, he has never been defeated, really, except for just one in New York. And then we have Kipsang, we have Mukoka. And I was just thinking to myself, okay, I'm in the mix. So you know what? And I'm feeling relaxed. So basically, this is what we come, came here for, to train. I mean, we've been training for it. So the only thing is just to deliver today on the, on the, on the road. And so I was really pleased with it. And everybody over here today really performed really well. Stephen and, you know, Kipsang, who just finished the marathon not, not long ago. And I was really pleased to see how he finished. Yeah, and then Stephen, finally, again, you, you beat names like Wilson Kipsang again, who finished second in the London Marathon. It's important for you in a very competitive Kenyan long distance uh, team, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's really important for me, like, especially you know, to, to run with Aile, Panad, uh, Kipsang. It's really, it <laughs> makes me feel really, really, really good. Yeah. No, it's really nice to run. How do you stop yourself from getting too excited about this one victory in this race? Because you have to be consistent yeah, on a number I, of occasions. Yeah, I have to be consistent because every race I run, I have pressure. Like, you know, everybody expects me to win. Like, so that's made me to really work so hard for that race. Because if I go in and ask, they say, oh, Stephen is going to win. Or something like that. Which make me to work so hard so that I can do what people expect me to do. So, in fact, to be honest with you, when uh, <laughs> today after we finish the warm up, when we were doing those strides, I told him, okay, you know you're going to win today. Yeah, so yeah. just go, oh, yeah. So me. there's every, every pre I mean, pressure all over the place, including coming from, you know, training partner and everybody, <laughs> everybody expecting him to do well. But you know what, though, he's young, he's experienced, and this is his playground, and so he does very well.